Well, praise the Lord, saints. Again, it's a blessing to be back with you again to share the word of the Lord with you. We pray that you, you're ready to take time out tonight to um, sit and with us, maybe maybe about an hour, the Lord's will, maybe less, we don't know, but we certainly appreciate you for tuning in with us, and we really appreciate your prayers. We constantly ask you to be praying for one, for another, that God will sustain us and keep us and strengthen us in this time. Because these are trying times that we're going through, but I believe God's He told us, I won't leave and won't forsake us. I believe God. Thank God is going to take us through these times. We keep our eyes upon Him, keep that trust, keep looking to Him and depending upon Him. Thank God. We we really we're gonna give our head a a, a, look, a part of the service I was gonna let you listen to before we before we uh, uh get into the service tonight. Praise God if we can pull it up. We, if we listen that we, we really appreciate all of you and uh, as you continue to keep on up in prayer to God to help us as you see us through these times thank God so I'm not going to let you listen to this if
Appreciate the Lord for that sir, that good praise. I want to let you take a look at Sister Austin on there. Yeah, I know it do you good. Thank God that you see her. Praise the Lord. We appreciate everybody. We're going to go and pray for a moment. We're going to speak to you for a few minutes. Appreciate those who are tuning in with us. Tuning in with us. As you ask you to call somebody, let them know that we'll video you tonight and we may be able to say something that'll help them, that'll encourage them. And I appreciate that service. Sometimes you know, we sit around, we listen to some of the service, you know, uh, we'll have something to listen to, something that worth listening to. Praise God. And I believe it's something worth listening to. Praise God. But we're going to go and pray for a moment and we're going to get into the scripture. Father, thank you tonight. And Holy Master, I really appreciate you, Jesus, for being with us Lord, and walking with us, God, and preserving us and keeping us. Lord, oh, Lord, I, I said thank you so much, Lord, how you watch over us. You told us you would never leave us. You wouldn't forsaken us. You'll be with us always, Lord, until the ends of the earth. We need you, Lord, to be with us every day. We need you to order our footsteps and to direct our path. God, we, as you move, every prayer request that come in, God, I'm asking you, in the name of Jesus Christ, pray for that sister, Lord, that old Lamb of God, that she's under the doctor's care, no? old Lamb of God, and help him, that, Lord, that other sister, Lord, that mighty God, Lord, that, Lord, needing you, Lord, that taking her off her medication and putting her on herbs and some of her family member. God, I pray, stand up for her. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, rebuke every divine spirit out there that, Lord, that come up against us. Lord, you told us that when an enemy coming upon like a flood, that your spirit, Lord, will raise up a standard against the Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, tonight, raise up a standard against every satanic power, every satanic force, every evilness of Satan. God, we ask you, Lord, to raise up a stand tonight against it, God. Keep us covered with your blood and hidden. Father, behind your cross, we ask you to bless all of those that will be tuned in tonight. Move for their family. Lord, bless their jobs. In the name of Jesus, we will thank you for it. They're being the sick among us tonight. We ask you, Lord, to heal them. Give them the bound deliverance. Break every yoke. In the name of Jesus, give us utterance. Lord, tonight to speak to you. I pray, help us to yield ourselves to you. Lord, you lead and guide us. And we will thank you for it. Lord, move for our nation. Help our nation, God. This old stuff that's going over you. Some kind of way stand in the gap for us. And we will thank you for it. In Jesus' name, we pray. We appreciate the Lord. Now give him a hand and pray. We appreciate Jesus for bless us tonight. We're going to speak to you for a few minutes. I tell you, it's just a, such a blessing to be free. Praise God. Be able to come to you again. And I know everybody missing church. I talked to somebody today. I've been I've been talking today. I've talked a little more today than I usually talk. I talked about, I think about three people. One of them, I talked about an hour and 40 minutes. I talked about one about an hour and another. I talked I don't know, about 37 minutes. But you know, they did most of the talk, and I did most of the living, but I appreciate them, you know. Sometimes we need to have an ear to hear. Sometimes people want to have something to say. If we would sometimes take a time out to listen, and if God gives you something to say, then you say, well, I, I really appreciate everybody. Look at Keep us in prayer. That God, uh, help us to hold on. I, I preach a sad earth to run with patience. Just have patience. God's going to see us through this thing. He's going to make a way for us. Thank God. Just hold on to Jesus in your trying time, will you? Don't never leave him. Stay with him. I'm talking to somebody that's listening. If you fall, fall in Jesus. But if we fall, be hid in Jesus. And when we fall, we'll be falling in Jesus. So, and then and, and that devil can do. Praise the Lord. But listen, we're going to go through the scripture here, man. We're going to talk to you for a few minutes. Really appreciate everybody. Appreciate that little part of the service show then. And I may be showing some more you know, as, as the time go on. From the book of uh, First Corinthians, I was going to I was going to go somewhere else first, but let's go to the book of 1 Corinthians in chapter 13. Thank you, Father. And we're going to speak to you for a few minutes here. Of course, you all know what that is, but it's a good, it's a good book. It's a good book. <coughs> it's a good book. From the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, listen to what Paul says here. And though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not shared that I become, I am become as a sounding brass or a tingling cymbal. Listen. And though I have the gift of prophecy, understand all mysteries 
and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. Now listen to what Paul saying, and Paul said, though I speak with tongues of men and of angels, I speak the, the language of heaven and I speak the language of the earth and have not charity, I'm coming sounding brass or team and silver. I am nothing. Now Paul was directing these this scripture to himself. He said, you know, a lot of times we are, uh, we are, we are uh, direct these scriptures to somebody else and say, you know, you ain't got no love in there. You just, uh-uh. These, these, these scriptures go to us. They go to us. Paul said, if I have the faith to move all mountains, men have not changed, I become, and, and we got to direct these scriptures, got to direct them to us. We got to examine ourselves. We got to uh, check ourselves out and see what we are. I know sometimes we really have this, we t got a tendency to, Find out other people they ain't got no love when they uh, go wrong. But let me tell you something. This, this this word come from you to you. Scripture come from you to you. You apply Paul said, though I. He didn't say though a Peter, a though John, a Philip, Matthew, Bartholomew, though they can do all this stuff and have not said they they have nothing. It's sounding bad. Paul said, though I do this stuff, though I speak this language and have not shared and have not love, then I'm nothing. I'm just a sounding brass. I'm like a sounding brass. In a team and seminar. Now we try to apply this word to ourselves. We need to we need to get in the mirror. And I try to get in the mirror. God help me. Let, let the true love. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be showing you the attributes of this love that we got supposed to have anyway. The Bible says it works no ill to, to his neighbor. I mean it's the true love of God. The Bible says in John, thank God three, that for God so loved the world, isn't it? He gave his only begotten son, that who shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn it, but through him, Jesus, the world may be saved. That was a pure love God had. He said, I'm going to help the people. I, I, I'm sending down an answer. I'm going to send an answer to the world for their sin problem, for their shortcoming. That, that's the kind of love he possessed. And he said, so love the world that he gave his only begotten son. Thank God this is the real, I'm talking about the real love of God that covered the multitudes. That working no ill towards this neighbor. Paul said, though I have all this stuff, and I can move mountains, I can I can speak with all kinds of language and have not shared it. I'm as a sounding brass, and, a, and so it is with us. Now we, we can't go about a, a vision we see or a, a, a prophecy. We need to keep keep our eyes off that stuff. Thank God, because the love of God, it, the Bible says it working no ill. Cover the mother too. Man, we got to get something up, man, that make us cover the mother too. I mean, don't be you know, sending a, a, a judgment on folks all the time. I mean, speak the truth. Don't try to condemn and judge, but thank God. Let the, let the love of God that God had for us reach out up there. And I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself, but that's all right. Ephesians said, man, while we were yet sinners, man, God sent Jesus Christ. Now, this kind of love, while we were yet sinners, while we were caught up in all our sinful ways, Man, Jesus came and gave his life. Man, this is somebody with the pure love of God here. And sometimes we can't stand for folks to say something about it. We can't stand for folks to look at us wrong. Let me tell you something. Paul said, man, though you have all this stuff and have not shared the folk, it profit us nothing if we don't get the real love of God in our hearts. We need to strive for it, seek for it. Man, man, train your ears and, not to, and your heart not to get upset when you hear something wrong, when you hear something bad about you. Thank God, let, let, let this pure love of God get the Holy Ghost. Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again, Nicodemus. You must get the Holy Ghost. You must get the Spirit of God. Don't you ain't going to survive. But we ain't going to survive. We might make it down on this earth, but thank God, without the love of God, we ain't going to enter into heaven. So we got to get this real love of God. You know, it works is no ill. It love, it, it, it finds a way. It makes a way. It ain't hostile. It finds a way to forgive. It finds a way. Thank God it's a love is an understanding spirit. The spirit of God understands things. It, it understands maybe you're going through stuff. It understands, thank God, well, maybe sometimes you may have stumbled or you may fail. You know. But the love of God, it understands that. And it, it'll try to seek for a way out. It'll seek for a way to help you. It'll seek for a way, man, to encourage. It'll seek for a way, thank God, to live you. Because why? That love of God in your heart. And, and not just words on our lips, man, but the actual love of God in our heart. It'll seek a way. It'll seek. Uh, uh, look, man, that's the attributes of love. I'm, I'm going to talk about it in a minute in Galatians. Well, let me pause about the love of God is. Let me read on here. 
And folks, I want that. I tell you, I want that. I say, God, I, I want you. I'm talking to somebody today. I say, all I want to do is plead Jesus. Man, ain't got no mind for nothing else out there. Ain't nothing else out there that interests me. Not that I'm aware of. That I have knowledge of. I say, God, is to plead you. This, this is my whole desire is to plead Jesus, to make him have, have no desire for nothing else out there. And I pray God stay with me. I pray he'll keep me like that. Keep me that mind. Man, if I can possess this real love of God, where I can forgive my brother or my sister if they trespass against me, I can forgive them. And I can understand like God understood. And he sent his son to help him because he understood. Thank God the world was lost. They was under mess. They got caught up in all this stuff. But the love of God, man, uh, sent his son to, to bring him out. I'm going to show you a way out of here. I'm going to help you. Thank, I'm not going to condemn you. I'm going to show you a way. In John 8, the woman got caught in adoption. That was the love of God. They didn't, they didn't condemn us. You know? But he said, I'm going to show you another way. I'm going to show you a way out of here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach my hand out to you. And I ain't going to condemn you. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, folks. Now, this is the real. I mean, this is the pure of why we were sinners. Why we up there doing everything we want to do, man. Cursing, lying, cheating, drinking, and backstabbing, all this stuff, man. Didn't have no use for God. Night clubbing it, man, part and doing everything else. Thank God for God sent his son. Man, he had a, I had a love for souls, had a love for people. Man, don't you want that? God had a genuine love for people that he offered up his son. Thank God to, to bring man back. And Paul said, listen to this. So we got to have it. Paul said, if I have this, if I, listen, if I speak with the tongues of men, some angels, and have not chatted, I become a sounding brass, as a sounding brass, or as a tingling sin. But Paul said, what I'm doing, I'm just making a lot of fuss. Making a lot of noise. There's something that got to, man, we got to get a hold of this. There's something that has got to be in us. There's something. Paul, I'm just a, I'm just a, we don't need a, a bragging on Tom talking and seeing visions, stuff like that. Man, get the love of God. Get the, man, get the meat of this thing. Let's get the meat of this thing. Say, God, put this love in my heart. No, we don't get the love of God. We ain't Jesus. We can't go back with him. Man, I want to go back in when he come. You know, be tired while I pray. You know, listen. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mystery, folk, that don't make you have the love of God. You may have a, you, you may understand all mystery. You have the gift of prophecy. That don't make the, that don't make that the love of God is in your heart. I just got to put the love of God in my heart. Thank God. If I don't know how to prophesy, put the love of God in my heart. If I understand all mystery, you live in me. You take your bold up in me. You give me of your activity. You give me of your characteristics. And folks, that's what we cry out to God for. You know, Jesus said, if we don't have his spirit, then we are none of his. And if you got the spirit of God, thank God you're going to have love. It's because God is love. And if we decide to get this spirit of God, so my brother, I, I just can't take it. Yes, you can take it. Because the Bible says, great is he that is in you, what? Then he that is in the world. Great is he that is in you than anything out there in the world, folks. Greater is the Holy Ghost in you than anything out there. Ain't nothing else out there no greater than the Holy Ghost. Thank God, nothing out there. No greater. Great is he that is in you. You can't find nothing out there in this world. Thank God, greater than the spirit of God. If the spirit of God be in you, there ain't nothing out there no greater. I don't care if they ain't prophesying or talking in tongues. If you got the Spirit of God, you got the Holy Ghost, then greater is that Spirit that's in you than anything out there in the world. Ain't nothing out there in the world greater than, than what's in you. Thank God. I don't care if you don't uh, raise the dead for breakfast. I don't care if you don't do this stuff. If you got the Spirit of God, ain't nothing else out there, folks. No greater than that Spirit. Greater is He that is in you. He the Holy Ghost than He that is in the world than anything out there in the world. Thank God. You know, we got the. We ain't got to get improved, this improved that. Like I, I spoke before several times. I, didn't, I ain't trying to get out to improve how much Jesus I got. And go out there, man, without no mask on, getting all up in people's face and hugging and kissing on folk like that. Uh-uh, I'm not going to go out and do that stuff. The whole goes greater than me. I ain't going to try to prove it is by doing all the foolish stuff. You know, thank God. You know, I, I, greater. The Bible said greater is he. We got the whole goal. That's the way it is, folks. Greater is he that is in you. Than he that is in the world, than anything out there, ain't nothing out there no greater than what's in you if you got the Holy Ghost. And God is love. You got the love, you know. You know, I think my sister always used to say, Love, tame a dog, tame a dog. Thank God, I love to do anything because ain't nothing there no greater. But Paul said, Listen, do I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries? 
and knowledge. And though I have faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. We deem ourselves at nothing, folks, if we don't get the love of God in our heart. Somebody says, yeah, somebody had to work at it. Somebody made the easy thing to do. You got to work at it. You know, Jesus, follow away, thou forsake me. Jesus, this way towards the strive and pray. Man, Jesus pressed his way to the cross. It wasn't easy. And that song said it wasn't easy, but it was worth it. Thank God, if I don't have love, listen, I'm nothing. And have not chatted at verse 3. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not chatted, it, it profit me nothing. You see? It don't profit them nothing. They get a big reputation. It don't profit them nothing to get this reputation, get this big name, and have, and, and believe me, a lot of people out there today. They're seeking for big revelation, big names, and big positions, all this stuff, but they don't bear the love of God. You got to bear the love of God, and it, it, it's going to show you what it is. But once we get this thing on the inside of us, you know, keep asking the Lord for it. To God strengthen this love in me. Help me. You know, teach me how to love my brother and my sister. Teach me how to love my enemy. You know, teach me how not to revive and not revive, not revive, not again. That's what kept Jesus because the love of God he had in him. Jesus had that spirit. Paul said, I do all this stuff, and then I have not chanted. If I can prophesy and understand all myths, I can move mountains. It's that sometimes people get that confused. They, they get confused. We were talking today, me and sister talking today, listen here. Uh, uh, in the time of Moses, thank God, the more, the more uh, magi magicians and the more soothsayers and withery, whatever them guys were, they threw their rod down, they turned into a serpent to them. So the devil can do that stuff, man. The devil got people out there that can do that stuff. Thank God, but greater, you know, notice Moses' rod, ate they rod up, but Jesus said, greater is he that is in you than he. One thing about this is the devil ain't going to stand. But thank God the Holy Ghost going to stand. Holy Ghost going to stand the time, the test of time. If you, it, it, It'll keep you. It'll sustain you. It'll be with you. Thank God there may be time where you don't know how you're going to make it. But thank God something in you, that spirit got in you. Thank God to keep you going on. Thank God keep you believing day by day. Thank God one day at a time it'll keep you going on. It'll keep you encouraged. Thank God it'll, it'll sustain you through that day because that greater in you. And that great in you is the love of God. It helped you go on another day. Thank God. So I said, God, give me the Holy Ghost. So my brother, don't you got it? Sometimes you feel that like you ain't got it. I said, God, give me the Holy Ghost. You know, and some, you know, I want to be better than what I am. And sometimes I don't feel like, you know, I'm good enough. I, I said, God, give me the Holy Ghost. And it, it, it make me more spiritual. Sometimes, you know, I'll, you say, brother, I feel spiritual all the time, but God bless you. And I don't feel spiritual all the time. Sometimes I feel like I'm so far from God. And I said, God, please have mercy. Sometimes it calls me to cry for us. God, please have mercy upon me. You live in me, dwell in me. God, it look like that ain't. But let me tell you something. I want to keep that spirit, that spirit of, of, of hunger, that spirit of desire. I want Jesus to really just control me, live in me. Listen to what Paul said here. And though I bestow all my good to feed the poor, and though I, and I give my body to be burned and have not chat, it profit me Nothing. Paul said, listen, Paul talked about himself. He wasn't praying to fame at nobody else. He prayed to fame himself. He said, I can do all this stuff. Get my body to be burned. And then have not shared it. But the Bible speaks, you can do all this stuff and still not have the love of God. People do a lot of things these days and time, folks, for some other purpose, for some other reason. It, it, it ain't, it ain't, they ain't moving by the love of God. They got some other, some other uh, a motive in mind, some other goal in mind, you know. Maybe sometime, maybe to cause them to be recognized and stuff like that, you know. And you made me tell you, I, 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 we, we bless the men and give the men. I never give men to be recognized and to be seen like that. You know, I, I give it because of souls. And each time I give them, I say, God, we got souls need saved. We got people need to be kept. And we want we want to uh, uh, strengthen soul. Let this word go out to help soul. Not for no big name, not for no show, nothing like that. God said, so what you do, do it in secret. He rewards you openly. Thank God so the love of God will lead us in the right direction. The love of, we have the love of God, it'll lead us in the right direction. Thank God. You know, if we will submit ourselves to it, I mean, if you, if you just got the big head, you want to go uh, your own way, then the whole God let you do it. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. He said, If you hear my voice, open the door, I'll come in and sup with you and you with me. He said, He's not going to kick the door down. He's not going to come in now. 
Thank God and, and kick the door and twist your arm. You're not gonna twist your arm. Thank God he's out. I'm knocking. You let me in. I come in. I'll sub with you. And I, I, I talk to you. I lead and guide you. Thank God. So Paul said, "Listen, I'm nothing. I'm nothing without the Holy Ghost, without the love of God. I am nothing. Listen, charity. Listen to what it says tonight. Charity, suffer long. I mean, it's long. The Holy Ghost. Paul said, it's long suffering." It suffered long. It bad. It whole life may it can endure. Long suffering, just like Jesus. The long suffering of God leads us to repentance. Chad, it's long suffering. Sometimes we we don't we can't suffer long, you know. Fifteen minutes is about the best we can do. And after that, man, look, if you ain't got this thing straightened out then, man, you know, away with you. I ain't gonna say that word, you know what they said, man. The blank with you, but it love suffered long. You know, if you get the love of God in you, it's suffering long. Thank God it won't. It, it never may try to tell you, but you know, you just being misused, you being abused, you you, you putting up the stuff you all not put up with. Uh, -uh. Jesus, that Jesus long suffering. Up, look at us today, folks. Man, look how righteous we live. Look how holy we live. Look how sanctified we live. Look how clean we live. Can't none of us say that. You know, but Jesus long suffering with us, and willing to forgive us. Willing to help us. The Bible said that in John, not John, that listen to that, that if any man sin, we got an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. God loves us and know, love us enough, the man that He made provision for us. It was the real love of God. So listen here, man. If you if you sin, I'm putting somebody to plead. If we got a defense of attorney, a turn of defense in Jesus. Thank God. He, he, he plead our case. That's how much God loves us. He plead our, he, I'm sending somebody, thank God, to be your attorney. He's a defense attorney. And he plead our case. Thank God. So when you do mess up, it's a sin. Don't sin. But if you do, you got an advocate. I'm putting I'm putting the way out for you. I'm putting some help down there for you. And that's the kind of love he had for us. When we sin, we got somebody to plead our case. Thank God to the Father. Say, Lord, I die for them. I give my life for them. Paul said we can do all this stuff and know how to love it. This is the love of God, you know. Long suffering. The Bible says, suffer long. Love, suffer it long. Somebody, you get tired. God didn't ever say nothing about you and get tired. Getting, getting tired ain't got nothing to do with it. You suffer long. Thank God you may. You know, we used to pick these people up and you know, they would never be ready. We had sat down waiting, sat down and waiting, sat down and waiting, man, until they found a side. They ready to come out and then. And they told Sister Austin, Sister Austin, I, I, do you get tired? Do you get tired, tired of us? Sister Austin, yeah, I get tired. But I'm, we're going to go on anyway. We're going to do it anyway. Thank God, because the love of God, he compelled us to do it, you know. Yeah, this old flesh get tired of stuff, folks. Just because your flesh get tired, thank God, you can't stop. You can't quit. Thank God, you can't walk away from Jesus' uh, Jesus' word. You can't walk away from his will because this flesh get tired. Flesh going to get tired. But, but, but there's something in us. There's something that keeps compelling us. Let's keep driving. Let's keep, and that is that love of God, the same thing that carried Jesus to the cross. Thank God, wow, man, they were spitting in his face and slapping him inside the head and stripping him naked and calling him a devil and all that all the time while he was doing that. There was something that Jesus possessed on the inside. Man, that was the Holy Ghost. That was the love of God ever through all of this stuff persecution stuff he was going through there was something living on the inside of Jesus that was the love of God and then he got to the cross he said Father forgive them but they know not what they do the love of God is long suffering Paul says long suffering these are some of the attributes some of the traits this is what the, the Holy Ghost to do the love of God to do you know sometimes we, we, we can't suffer long we, we can't stand up we be short tempered and stuff the Holy Ghost is not short tempered the Holy Ghost is not short. The Holy Ghost don't snap you up. Get smart with you. Snap you up. That's not the Spirit of God. That's not the love of God. The love of God, thank God, don't get snapped you up. Get smart and snap you up like that. It's long-suffering. It's kind. Kind-hearted. Oh, my Lord, my God of heaven. It's kind, folks. It's kind. Lord, I just can't stand Man, They just make me sick. But get sick and just keep loving them. It's kind, you know. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it, ain't, it, ain't, it don't snap people up and be harsh to people. 
the Bible said, vengeance belongs to me, God said. Then he said, we revive, revive not again. They said, you keep showing, you keep showing them active. You keep being that example. You keep doing what we're supposed to do. I pray God, God's going to deal with all this stuff, folks. Brother, I might get tired of people using me and making trying to make a fool. Jesus is going to deal with those people. He let Jesus up and said, let Jesus run his kingdom. Man, he done decreed all this stuff. You know what time is. You know what's going on. He's going to deal with this stuff. He's going to deal. You know, the rich man I, I mentioned maybe Saturday, the rich man Sunday maybe. Rich man, Jesus didn't bug him. They let him went on and did evil and treated Lazarus bad, you know. But come down, time they died, Jesus dealt with him. Jesus is going to deal with every Look at Be long or something. Be kind of You know, be kind of you know, I told you that guy on my job, he told me, said, listen, man, you let people run over you. I mean, you're too easy going to let people run. I said, uh-uh. You know, the groundhog is taking him his mail today, you know. If he's getting in the mail, the groundhog is bringing him to it. But look at it. I said, I ain't, I ain't, nobody, ain't nobody running over me. The Holy Ghost stands up for you, you know. You, 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 you show this love of God. You, 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 let this love of God live in you. Folks. You, you do well. You fare well. And one thing about the love is a comfort. It's a comfort you. It gives you peace in the time of all this stuff. It gives you peace. Jesus said, Nicodemus said, man, you got to be born again, Nicodemus. You got to get the Holy Ghost. You got to be born again. Nicodemus thought you ain't going to make it, man. You ain't going to survive. Thank God, because you can't have the love of God in your heart if you don't get the Holy Ghost. Listen, Chad is suffering long, long suffering. Oh, man, we can really examine ourselves. Okay? We can, we can uh, uh, not look at you. And, and, and try to see you ain't long suffering, you ain't kind. Maybe we look at our own self. We look at our own self and see how, how uh, long suffering are we and how kind are we, you know. Uh, uh, do we can't stand people, we can't stand stuff, you know. Also, if I do all this stuff, man, I can speak in tongues, move mountains, get my body to be burning and all this stuff, and I still do all this stuff and still don't have the love of God, so I am nothing. It profit me nothing. Chad the long, Chad the suffer long, and it's kind. Chad the end the knot. Chad the but it's not itself, it's not puff up, man. It don't, it don't put itself forward, you know. It ain't forward speaking, ain't forward mouth. It, it's something about the Holy Ghost, man. It's something about the Spirit of God, man. I tell you the truth, you know? it, 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 it don't end it. It don't end me, folks. I don't care. It, I don't care what people got, what they ain't got. It don't end me, folks. I don't care what their position are, or who, uh, uh, how God uh, uh, raised them up and blessed them. The Holy Ghost do not end me. Cause the Holy Ghost got a job for you. He got a play for you, and it don't end me. The Holy Ghost do not. It's something about the Spirit got to do. It don't matter what we say. I know people say a lot of stuff. People talk and say a lot of stuff in their mouth, but let me say, the Holy Ghost do not. The Spirit God do not end me. You know, it do not end me. It, it ain't puffed up. It don't. It ain't varnish itself, you know. It don't show forth. It don't always. Man, you got some retaliating spirit, you know. Oh, we want to fight back or something. That's not the Holy Ghost, folks. Holy Ghost, it don't fight back. If we get the spirit of God, so my brother, I can't stand for folks. Yes, you can. I told you the greatest he is. Yes, you can. You can do it. You can do just what the Bible says you can do. Paul says I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. See, it ain't us. It's Jesus. It's the spirit of God that's in us that help us to. Do you get weary? You may get weary, but but the uh, uh, look. The Holy Ghost keep you going on. Sometimes you may have to go somewhere and man, try to figure out this stuff for cries and say, Lord, why? But thank God, as long as you try to stay with Jesus, stay with His Word. Thank God. The Holy Ghost, the love, the love, love it. It's, it's long suffering, it's kind. It, the Bible says it's, it's uh, born, it's not itself, and not even, you know, don't make itself. Don't try to make it something that the, whole, you, the Bible said we are. Paul said, I'm all, I am what I am by the grace of God. So the Holy Ghost, you realize you are what you are by the grace. And God made you. Mm -hmm. Jesus made you. You know, he made you what you are. He used to be a sinner. You used to be uh, on drugs. You used to be alcoholic. You used to be a lot of stuff out there. Thank God. But now what you are, Jesus made you what you are. Thank God. And the Holy Ghost don't try to go beyond. The love of God don't try to go beyond and, and, and try to claim something that you're not. Paul said, do I have all this stuff, man? Don't have charity. And he tell us here, it's long-suffering, it's kind. It ain't easy for go. We ain't got that yet. But listen. How many want the Holy Ghost? Man, how many want this love of God? Don't you want the love of God that you can, man, you can, you, people can do you wrong and mess over your stuff. You can lay down at night and sleep without tossing and turning. Or mess the 
miss all the cover up on the bed, just tossing and turning because somebody done said something about you, man, and done miss you, you, you just can't get no rest, man. You can't get no sleep. You just turning and tossing, turning, man, throwing all the pillows off the bed, get the cover all kicked off the bed because you just, man, you just, look, you get this love of God, he give you a pill, he'll let you lay down tonight and get you some rest and sleep. The love of God will do that, man. It'll give you peace. Jesus said, I'm going to send you another cup. It'll give you comfort. Listen. Charity suffered long. This kind charity, even not itself, burning not itself, not puffed up. Listen. Does not behave itself unseemly. It's one thing about the love of God. It don't look good. It's in order. It's decent. It's decent. It don't, it don't behave itself unseemly. You know? It's something about the Spirit of God. You, know? you don't get out there. God's going to take care of it. I was talking to somebody that's listening. The Bible says, listen, leave them alone. So they be blind leaders of the blind. Jesus said, leave them alone. Don't mess with them. Leave them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. If the blind lead, the blind both going to fall in this. So what we do, man, look at Don't try to get back by yourself. Don't revile again. Just leave them alone. Don't try to fight, fight back. The love of God don't fight back. The love of God, it, it trusts us the Lord. It give everything over into the hands of Jesus and, and, and trust Jesus to take care of this stuff. I prophesying and I laying hands. I see in vision all this stuff. Uh, talking in tongues, man, that don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. Thank God that we don't have the love of God in our heart. I mean, I'd rather have the love of God than have all this stuff. But the Bible says we don't have the love of God, we ain't here. Listen, it does not behave itself unseemly. Don't seek her own. In other words, it 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 do for others. It wish others well before you, you, you trying to exhaust somebody else. You lift somebody else up before you uh, try to lift yourself up. You know, don't seek their own. Say, oh, Lord, I and I, I want to be a prophet. God, I believe I'm I'm a prophetess. I believe I'm. You know, look what I've done. You know. They did this, but look what I done. You know, the Bible said, man, it don't, it don't act unseemly. You know, no. seeking out our own. Some, one thing about the Holy Ghost, we get saved and get the Holy Ghost. One thing about the Holy Ghost, the Bible says, what a, a tree is known what by its fruits. And it, 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 with us, it's talking about the fruit of the Spirit. With us, it ain't talking about, he giving a power here, because a tree is known by its fruits. You know, if we say we, we was talking today, if we, if we, the Bible said, if man, sweet and bitter water can't come out of the same time, you know, how can sweet and bitter water come out of the same place, you know, they can't do it, he said, man, with our mouth, he said, we, we bless God and turn around and curse men who's made after the similitude of God, how can this happen, this can't, the love of God do not, Permit that stuff. It do not encourage that stuff. It don't lead us in that direction. Man, the love of God, man, it don't, man, it don't seek his own. You know, it don't, it don't, it don't try to fight back. Oh man, don't we need to get saved? Yes, we do. Lord, save me. Man, save me. Save me real good. Lord, help me. Do not behave yourself unseemly. Seeking not our own. It's not easily provoked. Think it's no evil. Not easily provoked. Man, sometimes, sometimes we get poked at the drop of a hat. But Paul is telling us here what about this love of God. Don't we need help? All of us need help, don't we? We need help. We get mad sometimes. We'll, man, we'll latch out. You know? And then we go and say, well, look, I'm saved. That's because I'm saved. You, and people ain't going to talk to me like that. You don't do it because I'm saved. It's because you're saved they're doing that. And you submit yourself to Jesus. Think I get to get the love of God in your heart. They think it's no evil. The love of God don't. The work is no ill. The Bible says work is no ill towards his neighbor. And it covers the mother too. So sometimes we can't stand people that are we think that are committing some kind of sin and evil. The Bible says it covers the mother too. It'll love them. It may not love what they're doing, but it'll it's something about the love of God, it'll love them. Man, they're going out and doing all kinds of sinful evil stuff. You don't like that. You don't preach it, but you try to help them out of it. But you still, you love that individual for that soul's sake. You know, Paul said, I became as weak that I may gain the weak. Paul said, I, I, look, I became as one without law 
yet not law, them that didn't have all the honor law. I came out not having law, but I still had the law of God with me. You know, so you still, you know, you, you 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 love them. You don't love what they've done, but you love them. That's, that's got to be a, that's got to be a, man, a, 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 a inner love. Well, it's, but it's got to be the Holy Ghost. It's got to be the Spirit of God in you. You're going you're gonna to need that. we got to have that. We got to have that. Man, we can examine ourselves and see where we're at. Man, see, we really curse somebody out. Sometimes we just, somebody just go right on, carry the thing on out. Going to curse them anyway. And then that's the Lord forgive us. Man, try not cursing them out. Then you won't have to ask the Lord to forgive you. And that sister say, man, uh, don't lie and say that stuff, man. But later on, you may need it some other times. Just don't, don't curse them out. Thank God, save that. And maybe come a time you may have to curse them out, you think. But some of us, man, we we'll be ready to curse people out and say, well, Lord, Lord, I repent for that. But you, you're right. You need to repent if you do it. But try not to do it. You know, try to reframe yourself. You know, try to, man, try to be an example. You know, get the love of God in your heart. Says, brother, all make me look like a fool. That don't mean to do is give you look like a fool than to be one. The Bible says, having to die like a fool. You know, it's better to it's better to look like a fool than to act to be a fool. Yeah. Thank God, let Jesus be the Lord of our life. We got to, God be the Lord of our life. Help us, strengthen us, especially during this time that we need. I mean, we really need Jesus, don't? We? I mean, really need Him. Listen to this. To the love of God, it think it's no evil. Now that really messes us up. Think it's no evil, you know what? And Paul telling them this stuff here, it think it's no evil because you know I can't look at you and tell what you're thinking. You can't look at me and tell what I'm thinking. But one thing about the Holy Ghost, Paul telling them here right now, thank God that they think it's no evil. And we run around thinking evil all the time and trying to think evil, that, that ain't the love of God. How many ever think sometimes uh, evil stuff or think uh, unclean stuff? You, you don't. I do sometimes. I ask God forgive me. Now, sometimes you got to catch yourself listening to them thinking the wrong thing. Now, you got to turn around and repent and say, God, forgive me for that. No, oh, brother, if they do you like that, it absolutely does, but I repent. If it don't ever do you like that, then, boy, you're special. You're really special. Yeah, man, you really, you really special, man. You got something, man. That devil's afraid of you. That devil's afraid of you. But he ain't afraid of you. Thinking no evil. And I strive, I, I strive, the Lord, don't, don't let me be thinking evil stuff. It's ungodly stuff. Sometimes the devil bring ungodly stuff to your mind. Yeah. Unholy stuff to your mind. Says, what kind of preacher are you, Brother Austin? I'm trying to be an honest preacher. I'm trying to be truthful. Because I got somebody up there that forgive me. I got a God up there that forgive me. I got a God up there that man got an understanding heart. I got a God up there that man looks in my heart and know. Thank God that I'm striving to try to live for him. Sometimes we got a, we got a divine, so we got an atmosphere. The devil going forth out of the roaring lion. Seeking who made the vow. We got a devil out there that's fighting against us, a devil out there that's coming against you. And every chance he gets, he's coming against you. If he can make you stumble, he's going to do that. But the Bible says, think of no evil. Love don't think of no evil. God have mercy upon our soul and help us to not think evil. You know? Man, you want Jesus to tell us, well done, my good and faithful servant. So you fought through all this stuff. Paul said, I fought a good fight and I kept the faith. I finished my course. God said, you, you, you fought through all this stuff. Thank God the devil, man, he tried you. The devil came against you. He tempted you. He did things. He threw stumbling blocks in your way. He dug ditches for you. He laid traps, snared for you. But, man, but you, man, but you, you, you bowed on through that stuff, you know. You didn't stop. You didn't quit that. You didn't stop that. He kept going in the way. The devil dug a ditch. You fell in. You climbed up out of that ditch. Thank God you kept on going for me. Asked me to forgive and help you and kept going. Because he that helper, listen. Rejoice not in the nickel, but rejoice in the truth. This is what it said. Bath all things. Believeth all things. Hopeth all things. Endureth all things. Believeth all things. I believe, I, I, God, I believe everything. Everything that's of God, I believe. Man, I believe in the virgin birth of, of Jesus. I believe in the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus. I believe in everything that God said. Man, I believe he divided the Red Sea. Everything that God said, I believe he made... Chuck rock down from heaven. I believe he multiplied the fishes and the loaves. I believe, believe it all things. All things that concern of God, I believe it. That's got a lot of stuff I may not understand, but I believe it. And the Bible said the love of God believe it all things. Man, don't be down with God. That's God. I, if I never see it, I believe it. You know, God said, man, you can speak to this mountain. I believe that. I may never, never speak to a mountain. It didn't move out the way, but I believe it. 
thank God, I believe, thank God we can say unto that mountain, look, look, speak to that feet tree, I believe it. Everything of the Bible of God, I believe it. The, the, the love of God, I believe it all things, bears all things, endureth all things. That's why I said we can endure it, but we can endure it. The love of God help us endure it. Thank God. Know what you got in it. Yield to that that you got in it. Submit yourself to that that you got in it. And never try to tell you, you, you ain't got this. You ain't. It don't take a whole lot. It don't take a whole lot, man. That little bit that you got. Thank God. You that. Submit yourself to that. Thank God. It's bad all thing. Believe it all thing. And I believe God that I believe God did everything the Bible said he did. I believe Every record that the Bible gives of what God did, I believe it. Everything the Bible said, I believe it. I believe it. Not that I believe man and all this stuff, but I believe everything. I believe it all things that pertain to the Bible. That pertain to God. Thank God. I believe he spoke and said, let that be. You know? Let that be light. You know? And all the fish and the fowl, I believe every bit of it. I know we can't understand God existing, how he be in existence, but you know what? I, one thing about God, no, I believe it. That's the Father, I believe it. You know, may not understand it, may not even explain it. People ask you stuff, can't explain that stuff, but I believe it. Now I stand by, I declare it. Somebody will explain it, I can't explain it, you know, but I believe it. The Bible says, He that comes to me must first, what? Believe that he is in a reward of them that diligently seek him. Thank God. Listen to this. Chad, they never fail. I'm going to give you a close out this. I'm going to read, read Galatians right quick in a moment. There you go. Listen, Chad, they never fail. Oh, ain't that something? Ain't that something other right there? Brother, how you talking? That's something other. That's something other right there. Chad, they never fail. One thing about the love of God never fails. The love of God never, 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 never. The love of God never fails, folks. Never fails. You know? It's endured. It's endured all the way up to the end. It's endured. It's a chariot that never fails. You can love, folks. You can have the love of God. In you. Like I say, you may not approve what they're doing, stuff like that, but love, you know, it don't never fail. Listen. I mean, I need to. Whether they be proper, they shall fail. Whether they be torn, they shall cease. Whether they be knowledge, it always advance away. For we know in part, and when we and we prophesy in part, so we don't. We, we the Bible says we know in part, we prophesy in part. We don't know the whole thing. But that which is perfect shall come. Then that which is in part shall be done away with. When I was a child, I speak as a child. I still as a child. The love of God, I mean, it it, it brings you to maturity. You know. You put away childish things. You know, you, you take a child like that and make him $25, you spend it all in bubble gum and candy. You know? But a grown man ain't gonna do that, you know. But man, it, look. Also, when I was a child, I thought as a child, he'd go out there and he'll, man, he, it's, it, it, he won't think about getting on, his, his nose will be running snot and everything else. He won't think about going and getting on a pack of Kleenex tissue, box of tissue, the wife ain't know, he gonna buy, he may be eating candy, all of that snot and everything else. And, because he think our child, he act a child. Once we get the love of God, when that perfect comes, that which is in part shall be done away with. Once the Holy Ghost get in us, all this childish stuff should, should cease, should pass. All this hating and grudging and stuff like that, the Holy Ghost do not lead us in that direction. That stuff should be done away with. We ought to be able to love God. You know? Seek to love Him. Seek to please Him. Reach out for Him. Thank God. Paul's my child. I thought I was a child. I understood as a child. Man, when I become a man, I put away these childish things, folks. I said, God help me to put away these childish stuff. You know, the run around and the, and the hold a grudge. That, that's childish stuff. You know, kids do that stuff. You know? Put away childish stuff. Let the love of God be manifested in it. Let, let me, let me, let me, uh, uh, let me read the Galatians right quick. Huh? Some of these scriptures. Let me read Galatians right quick. No, I'll let you go. Man, listen, I sure appreciate this word, folks. I know you want the love of God, and I do too. I want the love of God uh, in my heart. You know? And I want to be pleasing to Him. I want all this act of religion, Galatians 5, say. Galatians 5 and verses uh, 
22. I'm just going to read two, maybe two verses of that. Galatians 5, verse 22. And first it was talking about the, the works of the flesh, but then we're going to talk about the fruit of the Spirit. Listen, Galatians 5 and verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. The fruit of the Spirit is love. It, it, it produces joy. It produces peace. This is the fruit of the Spirit. We know Tongue, it says a sign of evidence of sign of Holy Ghost. Let me tell you some love is. Love ain't a sign of it. Love is the very evidence of the Holy Ghost. Tongue may be a sign, but they're teaching people speaking tongue now, so you can't go by that. Love ain't no sign. Love is the very evidence of the Holy Ghost. Love is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is love. The Bible says the fruit of the Spirit is love. And love will, will produce joy. It will produce peace. It's long-suffering. It's gentleness and kindness. These are the fruit of the Spirit. Brother Arthur, I just ain't got that thing. Let's work on it. Like if you got something in it, Jesus will give you something. Work on it. Begin to believe it. Begin to trust it that God has given you. Begin to yield yourself to it. Begin to submit yourself to it. Man, you, can, man, you, can, you don't know why you can go in God. If you start listening to the enemy, you know, I can't do that. I ain't got that. You don't know how far you can go in Jesus if you begin to yield yourself to that stuff. Begin to yield yourself to this peace and joy and long so Begin to yield yourself to the fruit of the Spirit. And you, got, you, you ain't got to say, oh, Paul said, I'm trying to apprehend that, that I'm apprehended of. Then God start yielding yourself to it. Claim. Claim the Holy Ghost. Claim that Jesus will live in you. Lay hold and claim it and start submitting yourself to it. Start yielding yourself to it. You'll find yourself, man, loving your neighbor. You'll find yourself forgiving your neighbor. You'll find yourself loving you. You'll find yourself loving your family member, your friends. If you start yielding yourself to it, start believing, thank God, that God has put a spirit in you and God has put something down in you, you start confessing that, believing it, acting up on it. You'll see Jesus begin to grow in you. Begin to grow in you. I'm telling you. And you won't be all tossed and turned tonight. Like I said, tearing up the pillow, the cover, and keeping it off the bed because you're so restless. You let somebody talk about you. Let somebody say something about you. And, and, and man, you didn't do nothing about it. You just can't rest at night. Man, get up, man, can't find the pillows, one up on the bed, one over behind it, the headboard, and all this stuff because you've just been so tossed and turning. But let me tell you something the love of God will give you peace. It's long suffering. You start yielding yourself to that, folk. And I, I'm finna let you go. But the fruit of the Spirit is love and joy and peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith. Hey, oh, I know, don't, I know this makes you desire that, don't Man, this makes you, I mean, we say we are Jesus, that we, that, man, this here make us have a desire that God help me. Man, you want God to smile up on you and say, well done. You want to look up on you and say, uh, uh, I love you, I appreciate that you've been faithful. Don't you want God to speak that stuff about you? Jesus speak that stuff about you. So well done. Thank God that you didn't give up. You didn't quit. Thank God you didn't throw in the towel. But you just kept on. When they, man, when they, when they revive you, you didn't revive not again. You didn't fight back with them. Listen, goodness and faith. Spirit, the fruit of spirit is meekness. Meekness. Temperance. We, we got to be, we got to have some temperance. You know? We got to have some self-control, you know. The Holy Ghost is self. Now, all these things Paul tells us what it is, it's self-control. We got to have some self-control, you know. We don't get all out of, we don't get all out of, out of order out of, in the Holy Ghost, you know. We, we got to have some kind of self-control, some discipline, you know. Some discipline, you know. So ain't got the devil say, go out and get you by your, uh, uh, what they call them things, uh, cooler. You, just, you gotta have self control. Okay, how things you get for a cooler? You know, you have some self control. You have some discipline about you know. Get you something else. The devil told me to light you up one. I didn't even smoke no more. But he told me to light light you up one. You know. He tried to get me to go in there and buy me a, a, a go in there and buy me a beer one time. You know, I'm on my way to church. But let me tell you, you gotta you gotta be you, you gotta be disciplined. You gotta discipline yourself. 
You got to be temperate. He can say there's no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affection of love. Holy Father, thank you. Lord, I appreciate you tonight. I thank you for your words, Lord. I, I know you're strengthening your people. I know you sin about us, Lord. You're watching over us, God. And this is your will for us to, Lord, to possess this love of God in our hearts. And Holy Master of Heaven, I thank you, Father, for what you're doing. Thank you for giving us ears, Lord, to hear this word, God, and, and giving us a mind to get ourselves in the mirror. This, this Bible is a mirror. And we get ourselves in this mirror, God, and we'll examine ourselves. We'll see where we're at. And this ain't, this ain't word ain't come to condemn us, judge us, it come to help us, it come to save us, it come to help us realize where we're at. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you for this mirror. God, that you place it, Lord, in this Bible that we can see ourselves. And I thank you for being willing, Lord, to suffer along with us, Lord, being willing to help us. God, be willing, Lord, to forgive us. Thank you for being this kind of God, Lord, that you are. That, Lord, they're here to help us, and I thank you for it, Lord. God, give us a mind. Give us a mind to, Lord, I, we may not accomplish stuff overnight, but God, give us a mind. Help us to keep striving and keep pressing, Lord. Lord, as them lepers were clean, as they went, they were clean. Lord, help us as we go, teaching us to lay aside. God, if you see us coming to you, you said you wouldn't turn us away. Help us to be laying stuff aside, Lord, everything we can. Examine ourselves, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, and I thank you tonight, and I really appreciate you, Jesus, for speaking to our hearts, Lord, and helping us hold on to you, Lord, in these in the old trying times. God, help us to hold on to you. Let everybody get a good hold, Father, and cleave to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, I decree it all to be so, and I thank you. Praise God. Now, give my hand pray. praise. We appreciate, appreciate you tuning in with us. Appreciate you tuning in with us tonight. I tell you, brother, blessing to Blessing to hear the word of God. Thank God, God, we need this word of God doing. I really appreciate you all hanging in there and being encouraged and being being determined. I don't know when we'll get back in uh, in the house of God. I tell you so. I've listened to the day of the news that this family, whole family, they all come down with the coronavirus, man. They went, went to the Mother Day thing, you know, and didn't have no mask, didn't have nothing on. And, and I think the granddad, the dad, the grandmom, and the, People got to come down with this stuff. Listen, you're going to be out there. Don't go out there and have no gathering. You no know, gathering, man, without no mask, no kind of protection on. This stuff ain't going nowhere. They open the country up, but this stuff ain't going nowhere, folks. This stuff is still out there. So you, you, you know, you, you, be smart. You know, well, this, this stuff ain't going nowhere. We, we're trying to figure out how we can do stuff. You know, but when you go out, we want to be saved. You know, we was at church yesterday. We, Think of yesterday, yesterday, money, yeah, it's been, it's been a, a, quite a bit of time up there, but, but uh, in my, you know, I long for it, I long for it to be back, I said, God, you help us, you, 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 you lead us, you just know what to do and how to do this stuff, you know, some of God's going to help us, and I appreciate everybody, we're going, you got a need, we're going to pray with you, we're going to agree with you tonight, and I certainly appreciate you tuning in with us, and I, and I appreciate, I believe you enjoyed that first part of the service where we showed some of the service. And I saw Sister Thornton. I want to get her in there where you can see Sister Austin too. You know, a lot of people say, you know, I miss Sister Austin. I wish she'd be here. I could talk to her, but I know what you mean. But listen, we certainly appreciate it. Listen, keep us up in prayer. Believe everything, uh, 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 evident. Believe God's going to work it out for you. I believe God's going to work this thing out for you. I believe God's going to do this, do this here miracle for you. I believe God. Thank God as we pray with you. Agree with and ask God. I believe God's going to do it for you. And I believe that's going to be a testimony. I don't know what we're going to do now. My son had a great testimony. He wanted to testify. And I thought we may come down to the church and film that church and let him be able to give a testimony. You know, but uh, anyway, however, however, you know, we've just started praying. And I want you to be praying with me too. And God just lead us. You know, I, I ain't going to move because other folk, folks move, you know. The Bible says, Many as led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. I'm praying, asking God. My Lord, I got ears. You can speak to me. You know, I got a mind. You can speak to my mind. So we appreciate the Lord. You got a need. We're going to agree with you right now that God will meet that need. Pre praying for this sister. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Lord, tonight I appreciate you for these that for a purpose in their heart to, 
Lord, to join us tonight in this service. Lord, I pray that you touch them. I pray, God, that every need that out there, Lord, that you would meet that need, that you still be this God, Lord. I read in the Bible, Lord, where you send your word. You send your word. One man said, I'm not worthy. You come on my roof, just speak your word only. And Lord, you spoke the word, God, you're the same today, yesterday, and forever. And God, we speak this word of the Lord, not, not in our own strength of power, but according to your word. We speak this word of the Lord, Lord. We ask you to work things out. Move for ebony. And in in others, Lord, that have, by the Spirit of God, I'm asking the Lamb of God to, oh, Lord, you see those, Lord, that it's some kind of establish their mind, establish their strength. Let them not get discouraged, Lord, and but cause them always to cleave to you. Father, we are thank you for it. Bless the people. Bless their job. Keep them safe. If they have to go to the public job and work among all these people, Father, I pray. God, every day that you would keep them covered with your blood. I often think, Father, those that are having to be out among these people working, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, I'm asking you, Holy Father, keep them covered, Lord, and protected. Keep them covered with your blood and hidden, Father, behind your cross. I look, God, and I see, Lord, where you can keep them during all this time. They can be safe. Let them be safe. Father, let them be safe. Oh, mighty God of heaven, let them be safe, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, and I thank you for it. And Lord, I believe you. And I look to you. In Jesus' name we pray. And we thank you. Praise God. Now give the Lord a hand and pray. We appreciate you to sad that the Lord's will be supposed to be down uh, Brother Park. He's supposed to be getting married on Friday at 3 o'clock. So I'm going to go down to church and him and Janet are going to meet me down there. And they're going to I think I may get pun there to be my witness and uh, somebody anyway to be praying and we're going to try to get them married this Friday evening at 3 o'clock. So keep them up in prayer. Listen, and may the Lord walk between me and thee while we ask them one from another. In Jesus' name we pray and we appreciate you. Now give yourself a hand and pray for holding on to Jesus. Praise God. Until the next time we'll see you. May God bless you. Praise God.